Nation It's a lifestyle. This is SGS Stacks TV. It's your boy SGS Stacks, man, and this is Let's Talk About It on SGS Stacks TV, man. I'm here with Steezy motherfucking K, man. It's been too long, bro. It's been too long. You know, man. Since high school shit, bro, nigga, we've been all the time, bro. Time, bro. I appreciate you taking the time to sit down and talk to us, oh, bro. Yeah, you know, anytime, bro. bro. I, I love this shit. It, like I said, like I said in my last interview, I love this shit, bro. It's for culture. I love to do anything for it. I'm happy to. Man, happy to do mind, anything. Man. I'm happy to do anything. You know, just hit me up. All y'all gotta do, hit me up. Let me know, man. I'm free. I got you. <laughs> Definitely yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate no it. No problem. So you know, dread gang, dread yeah, gang, yeah. dread gang. How long? <laughs> Shit, it's been about, man, 10, 12 years, bro. Down there to, it's been since fucking freshman year. That was what, 2009? Yeah. Yeah, it was 2009, so yeah, it's been a minute. About 11 years. 11 years. Damn. Crazy. It's crazy. We out here. Damn, boy, it's a little year and a half. Don't play best to them. I know niggas on shit been growing that shit for a year and they ain't went nowhere. Bro, I grew it, chopped it. I grew it. My shit got down like right here. I chopped it, bro. And then I I did the same thing, though, because, you know, my hair was more fucking, it was stringy as hell. And when they was trying to twist it, it just wouldn't do it. So I had to cut my shit and I had to start from the little shit. And it took a minute, man. I was pissed because my hair was already long. And I had the long braids and shit, and I had to already cut that shit, man. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, but man. grew back out, man. Hell yeah. Like, man. I talked to this uh, OG in the uh, liquor store the other day, and he said shit. He shit down the motherfucking his ass. Like, he old school Wayne type shit. I was Damn. like, man, I need to get like that. He said, bro, I just been putting my shit back on my shit, and I do the same thing. I noticed that shit. All the dread niggas do the same shit. They put their shit right back on. Like, bro, like. When the tips, you know what I'm saying, they fall yeah. off and shit. You just twist them right back on and shit. And yeah, like that one that's been twisted on. That one that's been twisted on. You can tell when they're not, you know. Yeah. Well, let's talk about it, man. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, man. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, we done. I actually went to the interview, man, and, and the song you sent me for, for the cover, man, it kind of gave me the chills when I heard it, man. SOS, man, let's talk about it. Let's Dude, talk about it, man. How'd, you, how'd, you, how'd that come about, man? Man, I was talking to me and my uh my brother Nick, man. We've been talking about the music and shit. We've been trying to do this, like, steezy and gnarly type, you know, vibe type shit where it's like a Metro and Future type thing. Okay. And we trying to, you know what I'm saying, change the game with this new school mixed with a little bit of old school type, so. So that's what I'm trying to do with that, you know what I'm saying? And I actually got a tape featuring a little more of that. So you're going to be seeing a little more of that from me like that, you know what I'm saying? With the old school mixed with the new school. So yeah, the uh, producer name is Gnarly. That's my brother Nick, you know what I'm saying? Gnarly, he do his thing. He made the beat and I was right there telling him how to cook it up right then and there. And then as he was doing it, I was making the song up, you know what I'm saying? Going off of what okay. I wanted to be. And I wanted the song to be basically about, you know what I'm saying, who I've came to be and, you know what I'm saying, how far I've came, right. and shit, you know what I'm saying, with the Steves and trying to build the image of Steves and, and doing me and telling the people, hey, you can be you and do your own thing. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying, do with the next person. So that's definitely. pretty much what the wave is built off of. Definitely. So explain to the people what Steves is. So Steez is your own individual, like, clothing, you, like, your art style, your, it's you. So if you're basically a gamer, the way that you play your game, it might be different than others. That's you, you Steezing. So if you rapping, the way that you're rapping might be a little different than others. It might be slower, it might be faster. Steezing. You know what I'm saying? The way you skate. It's really a snowboarder's turn. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even given the name Steezy. Like, I, I got that shit from Marcus. You know what I'm saying? That was okay. my bro. He, we just came up there with that shit. And he was like, yo, you Steezy as fuck. I was like, where that came from? It's a snowboarder's term of, you know what I'm saying? When they pull off a nice ass trick or something, they'd be like, damn, that was Steezy as fuck and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'm trying to build more for that. That's all it is. 
there's one song in particular I want to I want to talk about outside the SOS, man, and that that's gonna have to be Stan Lee, man. How how did you was that something you were already working on? You know what I'm saying when he passed, or did it just kind of happen? It it worked. I worked on it when he passed because okay. he was real. Like I looked up to him, and you know what I'm saying what he does, and he, it was kind of like himself. Like my see my Steve's and and himself. Like he was Steve's as fuck. Because he was always doing himself like and that's why I named it Excelsior because that was down there his word and he pushed that and did his own thing you know what I'm saying with that so yeah that was pretty much my tribute to him I wish I could have made the track uh quality better that's my bad you know what I'm saying I was just rushing and stuff and plus I was like just I was really rushing stuff and like I ain't had the right tools and stuff to put the quality out there so yeah, that's my bad. But the song is still nice, so go check it out. Excelsior. Definitely, nice. definitely a dope track, man. I'm a big Marvel fan myself, man. So yeah. it was, it was, it was hard, you know, when when the news came through. Yeah, man. man. He, he didn't make to. it, man. I'm like, man. I was like, damn, Just, not Stan, man, because you know what I'm saying. He, you know, what I'm saying? he was Marvel. That shit hurt. He was you know always just this bright, you know, colorful dude, and it always made I see myself in that. I was like, damn, I always love to be that happy and stuff. And he was just always that person to bring joy into my life with the Marvel movies and stuff. Yeah. So had to do a tribute for Stan. Stan was that man. What was the first song you ever recorded? Do you remember? Uh, the first song I ever recorded was Killed in the Circus with me, Scarzy, Gnarly, and my other boy, uh, Kid Nasty. And we was freaking like 13, 14 at the time. Like, shit, this was just like so freshman, young. this was like freshman, <laughs> sophomore year type shit. Yeah, yeah. 2011, 2012, around there. Yeah, yeah, that was that was crazy. <laughs> it's on YouTube too, man. I'm still, I ain't even taking that bitch down. I don't care that motherfucker. What's your creative process when you're, you know, what I'm saying, putting your music together? Well, uh, I just like to pretty much go with the flow. So like, I really base myself because I'm a big Wayne hit, mm -hmm. and I grew up watching and studying his style a lot. And I watched him. I used to watch his documentary a lot about, you know, what I'm saying when he was going through the No Ceilings project and shit. So that I took right. to that a lot. And I started to go in with my own style a little bit of just going with the flow and just rapping about naturally what I do and go through in life and what I'm seeing as I'm rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm in the studio doing this and that, I'm going to rap about it. Right. If I'm doing this and that the day before, I'm going to rap about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just build yeah, off of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just try to keep it real. Do what I do. Uh, what's, what's your favorite song by you? My favorite song. Ooh, give um, me, give me at least three. I ain't gonna make you do one. Give me three. Okay. Three of your favorite songs by you. My favorite songs. Three of them would be John Cena, uh, basically Steezen with me and Basic, which we need to push that a little more. Um, what's another one? And yeah, SOS. That's my new favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, man. And go check that SOS out. Man. SOS is nice. I love that. Nice. That's too smooth. Um, do you have any joint projects? You know what I'm saying? You working on? You got? You know what I'm saying? Yes. You hiding from us, man? I you? do. I got a couple joint projects. Man, so let me hit them, so, man. man. Ain't nobody been trying couple... to give me no. Ain't nobody man. been trying to give me no info on any new bro, projects, man. Cause, bro, so, man. it's a lot of it's a lot of new stuff we got that's coming but we just gotta work on it man and a lot of people have been busy and stuff doing their thing so right you know what i'm saying that's why we ain't really been talking too much on it but it's coming bro we've been Come talking on, about man. it we've been something, talking man. about it man. something man we've been talking about it it's, that's all i can say is we've been talking about nah, it like, everybody gonna do me like this man. Everybody, it, man everybody do me like this man we've been talking about <laughs> it and all i can say is be on the lookout for basically steezing be on the lookout for motherfucking, and I don't even know what me and Gnarly gonna have. Man, just know it's a whole lot of hot shit, and it's a lot of shit coming. Be on the lookout. What song did you feature on that you had the most fun working on? Uh, it's two of them. Hotbox Talk, 
No, actually, it's three. Hot Box Talk, Stay Lit, and um, The Club Hot. Those are my three favorite. I love those collaborations. Those are my three favorite. You took me a little bit of power. Those was, well, um, Hot Box Talk was me and uh, Basic, we was talking about, you know what I'm saying, the chief in the car, what we'd be talking about, just freestyling and stuff. And that was literally a freestyle, like I freestyled that track. And let's see, um, what was the other one? I don't know how to, I can't even think. But the other one was uh, the club, the club high. That was me, Scarzy, and Gnarly. And that was basically about the hot club and who we are. Yeah. And it was basically just like, yo, this is who we is and what we do. And then the other one, damn, I forgot the third track. But yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So can we expect to see this on the hot club, the club high? Yeah. That's going to actually be, that's another collaboration. We say that's the whole, you know what I'm saying, our group take. And it's okay. going to be all of us. Okay. And that's okay. the hot club take. Man, I'd love to sit down with everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Talk to them, man. I need you to hook that up for me, man. Man, I got to. <laughs> I got to. We're we going we to be awesome. Hey, that, so just like know. I said, I'm in the process of building this, you know what I'm saying, studio up and doing my thing. So then we can all just do our thing. Right. Come every, I can have everybody come over and we can all just. Do this shit like I it's the nineties and shit, it. nigga. I'm trying to make this shit like it was back in the day with Dre and shit, nigga. I feel like, like I got I real aspirations it. of doing this shit, but yeah, hey, we gonna do it. If you could work with any artist right now, who would who would it be? Right now, it would be it'd be little baby. Why, my little baby? Because he's staying the most consistent, and I feel like it would be a nice, cool, and cool feature with him. You know what I'm saying? I like his music. I don't listen to all the little baby songs, but I like little baby. He cool. I fuck with it. That is, that's a nice artist to work with. Um, where are you looking for your music to take you, bro? Um, I'm looking for it to take me to pretty much. I'm not even looking for it to take me. Anymore. I'm looking for it to take me plus mainly everybody else that's with me everywhere. Definitely. That's my main thing because I see a lot of good talent out here. Like not even just me. I I've seen way better talent than me. Like I don't think I'm the best out here doing it, man. I really see like you and plus and others like fucking uh J O fucking uh damn what the fuck is his rap names man like I'm so high right now I can't even think but I promise, bro, it's so much talent out here, and I just want everybody else to be happy and do their thing. I just want to see people around me happy. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, bro. That's why it's part of the reason why I'm doing this, bro, man, to help everybody have, you know what I'm saying, another platform to, you know, promote themselves. So that's, that's definitely understood, man. So do you keep do it? Any 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 brand building going on? You know what I'm saying? Any, what, yeah, what's going I'm on trying to. What's, I'm what's trying to get there? some merch and stuff ready. I'm getting merch and stuff ready. The hot club merch, DDK merch. Uh, that's why I've been like sharing a bunch of like random little drawings and sketches and shit of random shit. Cause like I'm getting it ready of just to where I want it to be at. Right. So I'm just you know trying to feel and figure out where what graphics I want on stuff, but. Yeah, it's got it's merch and stuff coming. Yeah, we got a brand name. Yeah, like I said, the Hot Club brand. Um, I'm gonna build the Steezy K brand, which is just Steezing. It's gonna be Steezing and shit. All on the brand name, T-shirts and like pants and shit. And yeah, that's those are just basically two brands right now. Definitely. And then whatever like uh like my other artists in the group got. So be look out on the lookout for their brands. It's probably gonna be like gnarly merch and basic merch and shit like that. You know, like that. Definitely, definitely. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to sit down and talk with me, man. Let the people know where they can find you, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, they can find me at QP Steezy K on YouTube and then at Slenderman Steezy K on Instagram and then at Steezy K on Facebook. And you can just search up Steezy K on Google and you will find me my Wikipedia and biography and whatnot and discography and music everywhere because I'm on every platform. So, yeah. And you already know who it is, man. It's your boy SGS. Thanks, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that share button, man. And I'll see y'all next time. Reputation. Just do it.
doing me. Token gas, spitting rap so fluently. Big bag.